bit of a depleted um, unit that is returning due to 10 uh, graduating seniors last year. It's very exciting for us to have had that many uh, kids graduate. But uh, uh, putting together a, a squad this year to, to help us qualify for the national tournament is certainly one of our goals. For me personally, our number one goal is to win the GSAC. So you win the GSAC and you host. You host uh, throughout the playoffs, and in the playoffs we've been very successful hosting at home, which is getting ourselves in a position to enter the national tournament <coughs> in the years that we have with that degree of momentum. So that, that's one of our, uh, of our goals you know, for, for this year. Um, given the recruiting class that we have coming in with some local kids, uh, Excited about some of the local kids. I'm going to tell you about the returners first. We have a few returners that are coming back. Kyla Jovanovic, a Serbian senior player, a talented midfielder that may see some duty this year on defense. Uh, we need some towers on defense. So he's a six foot three, six foot four kid. <clears throat> I think uh, he'll help us do that. He's, he's at the point right now where uh, uh, he's ready to do whatever it takes to help the team. I think in the past he always saw himself as a midfielder and uh, convincing him to. His strength, his speed, his uh, experience to help us defend. Um, I'm excited about Paul Islas, who was the Southern Section, I believe, uh, Player of the Year a couple years ago, uh, CIF and Southern Section. Uh, who's coming out of a good freshman year, a good solid fresh, freshman year, typical, typical freshman year in, in my experience, my years of coaching for a kid like that who come in and score se six, seven, eight goals and, and find the difference in level immediately immediately from what they've experienced at the high school level. Um, and I think uh, with, uh, with that, and the fact that he was injured a little bit for us last year, um, suffered a, a quad pull, and uh, he's slowly recovering and he's doing better. I think he would have done much better. Uh, he would have been healthy all year, but the demands of GSAC, like Eric was saying, um, and the, the newness for those kids, you know, and one of the, and one of the things that I think uh, Dennis, uh, I know he's alluded to that in the, in the past, and for those of us that, that have fall sports, is that a lot of these great high school players that we get don't have a lot of time to make adjustments. They just come in, training camp, boom, playing games, week and a half, two weeks, and they immediately they're, they're into competition that they're, they're not accustomed to. But now they're playing with much, much older players. And, and I, I know that culture, the college culture is different than the high school culture because you can be a 14-year-old freshman playing with 18-year-old uh, seniors. It's different than being a 17, 18-year-old uh, freshman playing with 25, 26-year-old men and women, depending on the sport, uh, that you know come in and, and really at the level that we compete at the GSEC in the Northwest Pacific, we have professional caliber players. You know, they can play in, in many, many professional leagues. And so um, I think that that was a huge adjustment for, for Paul and the <coughs> Well, uh, Stephen uh, Waite, uh, sophomore uh, player out of uh, Columbus East, goalkeeper. Very excited about him. I uh, went to Stanislaus last year. Went to City College as freshman year, didn't play, just wanted to do academic, academics and transfer back to a university. Uh, did that. Solid, solid academic kid. Great, great Christian kid. Fit, fits into our, our community here really well. Uh, outstanding goalkeeper. Uh, that I think uh, earned an opportunity at Stanislaus to start for him a little bit last year with a new coach. If you're, if you're not familiar with Stanislaus soccer, they got a new coach. Uh, he used to be the head coach of Oregon State, a Division One program who put a lot of players into MLS. This guy really knows his, his business. He's done a good job. And Steven impressed him enough to be able to, to split duties with, uh, with uh, you know, in goal. And, but Steven decided that semester to transfer over here to us because he, he wanted to come to a university like this. So we're excited about him being um, what I think right now, having the edge in goal to start for us. A uh, couple new uh, <coughs> new recruits coming in. Alexis Hernandez. You may not have heard of Alexis Hernandez. Alexis Hernandez is a, a Wenatchee, Porterville area kid that has already had, I think, two or three exhibition matches with the Mexican under-17 national team. Uh, Port uh, Wenatchee didn't do very well in the playoffs this year, so the exposure that he received locally wasn't as... Uh, as much as some of the other kids that had better teams, like you look at Tulare Western, who was very, very good this year. Um, and uh, I think in the, well, the Fresno, the Fresno Post Stevens struggled a little bit this year in the playoffs. Uh, the new, I think, ended up with the Player of the Year. Um, <coughs> sure, Omar, what's his name? The kid, uh, or David something, David something. Yes, yeah. yeah, David Diaz. Yeah. Yeah, David Diaz was a, was a Player of the Year out of the new program. And uh, 
I went, I went to see him play David's a wonderful player, but I think Alexis is a much better player. Uh, Alexis Fernandez is, is the real deal. And he'll come in right away and, and contribute for us on the outside midfield. We're excited about him. A couple of internationals who graduated uh,